filibuster. At John Lewis's funeral, President Barack Obama said he believed the filibuster was a relic of the Jim Crow era. Do you agree? Yes. Lies. Oh, lies! Yeah, no, no, not true. Not true at all. In fact, verifiably not true. In fact, well, let's just look at it, shall we? I'll do the, I'll do the legwork for you, since apparently Joe Biden's big folder that he kept on stalling to read from, or was that a senior moment? You decide. But anyway, that, that thing that you kept on looking down and not answering questions that he was looking at to get information from, well, apparently they didn't have time to look at this. The first Senate filibuster occurred in 1837 when a group of Whig senators filibustered to prevent allies of the Democratic-Republican President Andrew Jackson from expunging a resolution of censure against him. So that's the first time the filibuster was used. Well, actually, not really, because they didn't have the filibuster as a word that wasn't coined until uh, around this time period. They did it beforehand, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's talk about this one real quick, because it is A, not during Jim Crow era, and B, even if it were, the policies that were being filibustered had nothing to do with Jim Crow era policies. So it uh, it's a complete mis characterization of the facts, which is a fun way of saying it's a damn lie. Because when you're at that level and you had that much, re, you know, that much time to prepare and think about these things, you know what the answer, you know what the, what the history is. You do. This, is, this isn't true. And it, the second one, in 1841, a defining moment came during debate on a bill to charter a new national bank. Again, not during the Jim Crow era. And even if it were, it's not a Jim Crow era policy that's being filibustered. So, and in fact, you know, I, I guarantee you, if the filibuster was used to stop pro Jim Crow era laws, you would love it. Sometimes you gotta you gotta take the bad with the good. It's like free speech, man. Anyway, let's get it. Then there's this, of course. Like I like I told you before, it wasn't so much that the filibuster wasn't used until 1837. It's that they didn't call it that then. It was just called something else. Let's go to the Senate page. Looky here about filibusters and cloture. Uh, whether praise, blah, blah, blah. The tactic of using long speeches to delay action on legislation appeared in the very first session of the Senate. September 22nd, 1789. The very first session. It was, uh, was to, uh, as uh, Senator William McClay wrote in his diary, that the design of the Virginians was to talk away the time so that we could not get the bill passed. That's a filibuster. It's been used from the beginning. While there were relatively few examples of the practice before 1830, the strategy of talking a bill to death was common enough by mid-century to gain a colorful label. You see, they wasn't called the filibuster then. They just called it talking in to get a bill, talking enough so you couldn't get a bill passed. Well, then they, they came up with the idea of calling it a filibuster, which is derived from a Dutch word for freebooter and the Spanish filibusteros. Yeah. To describe the pirates then raiding Caribbean islands. Uh, the term first appeared in American legislative debates in the 1850s. Yeah. It was called that before, but it didn't show up until then. Uh, I saw my friend standing on the other side of the house filibustering. Well, as we all know, it was, it was used in 1837. So this whole idea that it was a Jim Crow era thing is just wrong. It's just false. It's not true. And it's meant to have a power grab. You see, the whole idea of, of this, the whole idea of it was that the majority couldn't run ramp over uh, roughshod, <laughs> couldn't run roughshod over the minority. The minority had power in a voice even when they weren't in the majority. And it's all meant to make the whole idea of power, of the power of the government move slowly. Guys, if you have broad consensus, then the government is supposed to move fast because people want it. So yeah, let the people have what they want. But if there's not a broad consensus, things aren't supposed to move quickly. If they do, it's called tyranny. So it was set up on purpose, very methodical, very purposeful to make sure that the minorities' rights were always respected. Hence, not being able to just have whatever they want happen. 50-50, the Senate split 50-50 right now. That means that the representation of half the country doesn't want one thing and the other half does. That means it shouldn't, go, it shouldn't happen. Status quo should be maintained until you can get a broad consensus. If you can't get a broad consensus, status quo needs to be maintained. That's how a republic happens. We're not a democracy, guys. We're not. We're purposefully a republic. But what do you all think? Let me know in the comments.